Hi, this is David, and thanks for checking out this video. Uh, what today, well, I thought I'd show you with this video is how to change a lip color uh, real, real easily in Photoshop. So what we're going to do is we're basically um, going to end up with something similar to this or any, pretty much anything you'd like to do. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this layer for now. And what I'm going to do is show you how to do that. So we're going to zoom in here a little bit. So we can see your lips really well. And then what we want to do is basically create a new layer and we want to create a blank layer. So we're going to come down here to the little icon at the bottom of the layers palette and click on that. And then what we want to do is, I was going to pick a red that's similar to her dress. So I'll go ahead and grab the layers palette. And I'm thinking probably a little lighter, like right in there would work for me. And then what we want to do is get the paintbrush tool, which is up here on the, the tools palette, or you can hit B for brush. And then what I want to do is just basically paint in on her lips that color. And we're going to do it at 100%. And I'm going to kind of go kind of quick if I can. And you really don't want to get any on the teeth if you can help it. So spend a little more time than I am here. And with this, since it's on its layer by itself, I generally don't like using the eraser tool. But since you're on, all you're doing is painting in uh, just the color here, what we can do is actually hit the E for eraser tool and then uh, basically come in here and kind of clean up the teeth where we, we spilled over, which I did really well. So generally I don't like using the eraser tool too much because it um, re erases information. But since we're painting, it's, it doesn't really bother me a whole lot. Then I went ahead and toggled back to the brush tool here with hit by hitting B. And you can kind of clean, clean it up a little bit. Um, you know, obviously I'm not going to spend too much time on this because it is a we want it to be a fairly quick short lesson and then at this point that doesn't look very natural so what we're going to do is come up to the layers palette again and go to our blending modes and we're going to go to soft light and what that does is that kind of pulls that color into that into those lips a lot better and at this point you can look at it and you know make some assessments and say you know geez that's a little lighter than maybe the dress is so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a command J just to copy that layer um, so we can don't have to do that part process again uh, and we're going to go to the one we just changed and um, we don't want to use the adjustments hue saturation down here because if we do this what it's going to do is create a global adjustment on the whole image and we just want to affect this layer so what we're going to actually do is come up here to image adjustments and hue saturation and when we do this what we can do is by, if we can look at her dress, we can basically come to hue and then change the color and try and get it a little closer to maybe what that actual dress color is or make any other colors that we'd like to do along the way too. So that's looking pretty good right there, looking pretty close to the dress color. You can pull the saturation back a little bit and bring up the lightness to kind of match it a little closer and make it a little more realistic. Uh, if you decide you want to do something really off the wall, you do have to just grab the hue saturation. You can just pull those colors and pick a different color altogether. So that's what's kind of cool about this process is you have the option to to basically pick a color and if you don't like that color you can always once you've duplicated it you can go back to the original color but the trick is to always make sure you duplicate it so you're not drawing that paintbrush part back in on the lips uh, just because of the time involved so uh, hopefully this lesson was helpful if you have any comments uh, please shoot me a comment on on youtube and if you like the video please please uh, go ahead and subscribe thanks so much